Hello guys and welcome to my channel Executables and welcome again I'm Pronil Halder and in this video I'm gonna teach you how you can use your smartphone as a webcam for your laptop or computer yes it is possible and you also do not have to use any Wi-Fi because I know that most of the people do not have um, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth in their computer or laptop in this method you will just need uh, um, a data cable and you can use your smartphone as a webcam um, using um, using USB so isn't that uh, um, interesting you know you may think that it it's nothing but just a video streaming method or something but no in this method after this method you can use um, your um, smartphone actually as a webcam device that means that your computer will recognize your smartphone um, as a webcam itself you will be able to see this webcam in your device manager list so um, isn't that interesting so without further delay let's get started So firstly you'll have to go to the play store and search for droid cam remember this name we're gonna install this app in our mobile and open this I'm gonna open this it says that you use your Android device as a webcam on your computer over Wi-Fi or USB so it can work both in Wi-Fi and USB um, so it's a very good um, app for those who already have Wi-Fi but people who don't have Wi-Fi they can also use it on USB and most of the people usually don't have Wi-Fi on their computer so we're gonna go ahead and install we're gonna press accept so it is downloading so you can see that the installation is complete now we're gonna move over to the PC where we'll have to install the droid cam PC client then we can connect the uh, smartphone and the computer over Wi-Fi or USB to use our smartphone camera as the webcam for the computer so let's move over to the PC and um, proceed this further after you have downloaded the droidcam app in your smartphone you will have to go to this link which is tip47apps.com I have put the link in my description and in this website you can download the um, um, PC client for droidcam if you are using uh, uh, windows just go ahead and click on download windows client and then click on the client version 6.0 whatever the current version is just click on that and your download will be started I'm just gonna cancel it I already have it downloaded I'm gonna close it and open the downloaded file this is called a droid cam um, client full offline.zip <laughs> as it's a zip file just open the open it and extract the exe file outside and follow the installation wizard just like other installation processes so I'm not gonna get in, get into the details as I'm using a Linux version I'm gonna show you uh, how to do it in Linux so there's a download available for Linux also just go to the Linux client option and uh, tap on the install and you can see that there are a couple of um, couple of commands there you will have to copy all these into the terminal uh, one by one and the droid cam PC client will be uh, uh, installed in your Linux computer so let's go ahead and try this make sure you copy and paste all the lines one by one don't try to do it all together because it may not work so here it asks for my sudo password you type in your personal password in this step The installation process completely depends on how fast your internet connection is so sometimes you have to be patient. So finally it is done, 
after everything is successful all you have to do is just to type droid cam and it shows the software on the screen now all you have to do is to go to the smartphone and turn on the droid cam app in your mobile then come back to the pc and select this option usb over adb and then you'll have to um, tap on the connect i'm going to show you how and make sure that you have the adp installed in your computer if you do not have adp installed just don't you don't have to worry just go to terminal and type in type in sudo apt install android um, dash tools dash adp this is the co this is the command for to install the adp in your computer make sure uh, make sure you have it installed the only after this the droid cam will work so make sure you have it installed so now just go, we're going back to smartphone and i'm gonna open the droid cam app and then we'll try to connect it with our computer open the app drawer and find our app that we just installed which is droid cam we're gonna tap on it and now it is opened now what we have to do is to connect our mobile to pc using usb which i'm going to do right now and after whatever it shows tap on deny it will open the usb debug debugging interface if you have doubt that you do not have um, usb debugging enabled then just go to settings scroll down to the um, developer options and here you can see that the USB debugging is on and if you did turned on this USB mass storage or something then the USB debugging um, would be turned off that is why I said that you, you have to tap on deny now we're going back to PC and connect our droid cam PC client with the smartphone so now we have our droid cam PC client opened in our computer we also have our droid cam um, um, mobile client opened in our smartphone now we have our USB over ATP option selected now we can successfully connect this and it works whether it works or not um, in order to check that we're gonna um, open VLC media player we're gonna go to media and open capture device select I already have a webcam installed in our computer so yeah, the um, webcam must be in dev.video0 and the webcam which I have installed previously that is um, dev slash video1 so I'm gonna select dev slash video0 and gonna tap on play and voila it works So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've understood how it works. So thank you for watching this video and let me know if there's any issues. Let me know in the comment sections. I've put all the in important links in the description. And thank you for watching. Like uh, like this video. Um, subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications. And let others know. Share it. Keep supporting me. Thank you for watching this video.